The Earth circles the Sun in 365 days, as well as the Sun traverses the space of each of the 12 constellations for more than 2,000 years. Currently, the Sun is in the constellation of Aquarius, and it will be for the next 2,000 years. The planet that channels the energies of Aquarius is Uranus. We must understand that at this moment, our Sun is an Uranian Sun. The Earth, which pumps the energies of the Sun, is also vibrating the Uranian frequencies and embodying the energy of Aquarius. During the zodiac change, it is said, for example, that the Sun is in Leo. It is not that the Sun has already crossed all the constellations to arrive in Leo. It is the position of the Earth and the perspective we have of the Sun in relation to the constellations. And every month, the position of the Earth changes, as the Earth gravitates and rotates in a circle around the Sun. With the change in the position of the Earth, the geometry in the cosmos changes. If the geometry changes, the energetic codes encapsulated in the form also change. When the Sun is in Leo, for example, the existing geometric configuration activates the element fire in us, which will, at the same time, trigger the manifestation of certain attributes and condition certain unconscious tendencies in our emotions and in our thoughts. This is how it works. Each month, in the rotating movement of the Earth, one of our four physical elements, fire, earth, air and water, is activated in us. The movement of the Moon around the Earth The Moon circles the Earth in about 28 days. The Moon's ecliptic around the Earth is not flat like the Earth's around the Sun. The Moon's ecliptic has an inclination of 5 degrees over the Earth's ecliptic, resulting in one point higher than the other on the Earth's ecliptic. They are the apogee at the top of the Earth's ecliptic and the perigee at the bottom of the ecliptic. This perigee-apogee axis is not stable, but is constantly moving, making a complete revolution of the zodiac in about 9 years. This, the position of the apogee in this axis, is called the black moon or true Lilith, and is a point in the space without physical body, where there are memories of our past before this life. We still have two very important and impactful lunar points in our life. They are the lunar nodes. A lunar node is the intersection of the moon's ecliptic with the Earth's ecliptic around the sun. So there are two lunar nodes, the North Node and the South Node of the Moon, two opposite points in the space by 180 degrees. This axis is named as the axis of destiny, as if it was the common thread of the history of our past life, with our history in the present and our future history. In Indian mythology, these two lunar points are described as occult planets and as evil planets in our astral chart. The north and south nodes of the Moon are symbolized by the archetypes of Rahu and Ketu, which respectively represent the head and tail of the Dragon of Life's destiny. New Moon and Full Moon Phases During the New Moon phase, the Moon is located between the Earth and the Sun. The Moon, therefore, receives sunlight in its hidden side, casting its shadow on the Earth. During the full Moon phase, the Earth is located between the Sun and the Moon, which directly receives sunlight and is projected onto the Earth. The Eclipses There are two types of eclipses, solar and lunar. A solar eclipse occurs when the Moon is between the Earth and the Sun, and a solar eclipse will only be possible during the New Moon phases. A lunar eclipse happens when Earth is between the Sun and the Moon, and a lunar eclipse will only be possible during Full Moon phases. Why is there no solar and lunar eclipses in each New and Full Moon phase? because the Moon must be in alignment with the Earth in its solar ecliptic. If the Moon is tilted above or below the solar ecliptic, eclipses are not possible. 
Using the Moon's predictable gravitational movement, astronomers can predict the exact dates of solar and lunar eclipses. How eclipses impact us? It is important to know what is transmitted by certain esoteric disciplines. The Sun represents the soul, the Earth the physical body, and the Moon the mind. The term eclipse comes from the Greek ellipse, which means abandonment or disappearance, because the ancients feared that the absence of light could attract misfortunes or death, being precisely these cycles those chosen to perform the greatest number of blood sacrifices as an offering to angry gods. Please understand that an eclipse can be total only from a strip of land where the phenomenon will be total. But apart from the so-called shadow cone, it will be seen and felt but partially. The solar eclipse time is ideal for working on personal power, self-image, ego and outward attitude. During a lunar eclipse, work prevails over emotions, sentimental relationships and everything related to the way of expressing uh, feelings. The signs most affected by lunar eclipses are usually those of the elements water and air. And the most influenced signs during solar eclipses are the signs of the fire element and those of the earth element. The date of each eclipse determines the sign of which it falls, and it will be, for obvious reasons, the sign that will be impacted the most. It is also important to know which house or area in life is most affected by eclipses depending on where the Sun and the Moon are placed in your astral chart. It is also important to know that the North Node of the Moon, or Rahu, indicates to us the objective in life, the pathway and the karma to be transcended. It is relevant to know the position of this astrological point in our astral chart because during the phenomenon of the eclipse the confluence of all the exceptional astral forces will impact directly in the axis of your destiny.